So the first thing is, where would you like me to spend? Yeah. Right, that's sorted you out, Jim. You're the first hit. <laughs> so it's Mutt and Jeff there, and I noticed Len kept very quiet. <laughs> right, it's very kind of you to uh, invite me, both uh, Tycho, Alan, thank you very much, and uh, Peter, front line. Uh, James actually said to me, what we want is somebody to um, fill the gap between the old and the new, uh, and you're the old. <laughs> so here I am, um, and I'm somehow squeezed between the first course and the main course, so I think that's a nice place to be. And I notice everybody down that side of the table is called Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> And don't we love all these twiddly bits on the, on the plates? They're brilliant, aren't they, all the, when they bring all this stuff up? That's fantastic. You know, I tried that at home once. It was, uh, you know, get the old fish and chips out, plonk the old ash on, and uh, catch up. Didn't quite look so. But it's, it's all good stuff. Right, the old. I am old, as Peter said, 100 years ago. Um, first system, Tycoats, one plus. So that's sort of 10 less than the 11 plus, so I reckon that must be an easy system for me to get working on. And that's where I started, working on one plus. My background is IT, so I'm poacher turned gamekeeper, depending on which side of the table you sit. Um, and I was asked to install uh, a security system in two head offices of a company. And to me, in those days, that was a big database. OnePlus was just a database. Uh, and I think that's an interesting point when we look back uh, to where we're going in the future. Because <coughs> the old systems were basically just databases. Sure, they unlocked the door here and they did something there. But they were databases. So they were a real doddle for me to work on. Um, and here we are now, what, uh, 8,999 numbers further on, and we're at the interesting stage of 9,000. So what's the difference between 1 plus and 9,000? Technically, of course, we are million miles apart. It's going well now. It had, but it's okay, I've got three, so I'm okay. So I'm working the time, I'm making it <laughs> um, technically, it's, it's actually a million miles apart, but what, is, what are we as end users, what's the difference, what are we doing that's different from the one plus to the 9,000 days? Uh, and that's where I want to get interactive because Paul did, uh, Paul, Peter did say, it's good point, that. Peter did say it's interactive. So I, I, I'm going to invite people to actually contribute to me standing here and helping me out a little bit um, by giving some opinion. Oh, Jim's at it again. Okay. Give me some opinion, please, of, of where you see the fundamental difference between the one plus as you, as users, and the 9,000 can be, because well, we've got a number of people around this room, I know, uh, who are uh, old one plus people, as old as me, just look old, and it, it's, it's how we manage these systems, <laughs> it's the consultant thing, isn't it? <laughs> so, going back to one plus, and how we used OnePlus, how are we doing that differently now with the 8,000s and the 9,000s? Do you see you're using them any differently? Can I invite anybody to say anything? Yeah. Too young. Too young. <laughs> 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 what did OnePlus do? <coughs> OnePlus basically unlocked doors. Okay. That's what we did. We used to use the OnePlus as computer access control. That's all we did. Yeah. Uh, if we were else, 8,000, we went on to 9,000. It's used as a truly integrated system. You can do, you can run your BMS, you can run your fire systems, you can run a reporting systems. 
there's so much more you can do with it. Um, and it's getting people to realise now that it's a system integration rather than a, an access control tool. Thank you, Ed. And I think that that actually sums it up much better than me standing up here to do that, so you'll be glad to be the speaker next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a fundamental step. We've, we've gone from the old to where we potentially could be with the new. And, and I, I say potentially because I know there are still users who are in the mindset of the old. And, and it's, it's incumbent, I think, upon us all to actually make sure we drag ourselves and them into the new world with us. We've got to use these systems to their full potential and, and with the capabilities of the system such as the, the 9000, we've got the real opportunity in the security industry to be able to demonstrate real return on investment, intelligent engineering, the provision of added value, my gambit, as, as some of the guys around the table know all the time, of constantly using these systems to their potential and no longer just using them to lock and unlock doors. And I, I would invite us all, whether we're consultants, whether we're engineering, whether we're end users, is to take with the introduction of the 9000, to take that time to stop and say, are we really using these systems for their full potential? Are we demonstrating to our corporates that we can actually start to give some return on investment through the systems? A hundred years ago, with OnePlus, I was able to close buildings just by using the data that we got from the locking and the unlocking of the doors and demonstrate under occupancy of buildings. They're old gambits for some of the people around this table, but they're true and they still hold true today. And I wonder how many people actually use those systems for those types of activities. We've had a fantastic lunch here. Uh, the chef, Gordon, who's down there obviously, <laughs> sweating and swearing away for us at this very moment as we, as we stand here. Um, he knows how many people are going to be here today. There are our organisations, they haven't got a clue how many people are in their buildings. They haven't got a clue how, how that's impacting upon their, their facilities, their air conditioning, their heating, or any of these sorts of activities. So we've got a really good opportunity with, with the systems and with the integrators, the intelligent integrators, such as Frontline to be able to make the most of our systems. Now I'm doing all the talking and I would encourage some heckling or some, some, some input into this because I stand here and I go out and I preach to clients this, but do the clients themselves, do you agree with that concept? Yeah, I, I, I think we, we went through a new system last night and we put 9,000 at an early stage we're developing this up and there's a sort of possibility going forward. So we, we are already seeing return on investment in various areas, as you say, but looking at um, us as a, um, a scientific side, so we have to maintain those of non safety aspects, etc. So the interaction between BMS and all of our secondary monitoring systems in relation to access through doors, etc. Uh, we're not going to integrate our BMS to the system, but we're going to run it alongside our BMS systems and have our BMS engineers monitoring access to ensure that they don't have any issues. I mean, overall, I think it's, it's fantastic. So, uh, and someone's going to build with us. I probably could say it a little bit more ahead of me, but yes, it's fantastic. Very well. The next paper after you, then. <laughs> 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 yeah, there you go. 
It's a, it is interesting. Yeah. I mean, a hundred years ago, with the, the organisation I worked for there, um, we were able to demonstrate, uh, particularly prior to bank holidays, how, how staff levels dropped the, the, the day before the bank holiday. And yet, of course, BMS was cranked up to full occupancy, and yet nowhere near. You could guarantee it. And interestingly enough, statistically, every afternoon, there were less people in the building than there were in the morning. How did that work? Where did they go? But it's a, it is interesting. But, but do we use our systems for that? If not, we should, because it's bringing the added value. Now, Peter's looking at his watch. No, no. Hey, well, I, was, <laughs> I was squashed in, I was told it was 20 minutes, and I'm looking for <clears> the way to No, you're fine, they've got another contributor. They're the, the, the not <clears> the <throat> wink that Golden's ready for us, but... Uh, no, 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 you're fine. <laughs> um, so, really, we've gone from the old, and I, I, I would ask us to remember the old, with respect. Sorry. <laughs> so a few of us would <laughs> remember the old with respect, and what we, we were able to achieve with that, and what we've been able to achieve with the eight thousand, the eight hundred, and really what we can and should achieve with the nine thousand. I would encourage those of you who are not already members to become members of the user group, of which we have the chairman here today, Jim Lucas, who will give you all the information if you're not a member. It's a really excellent forum. I notice there's a tremendous amount of email flows in around the moment about Max Strike to Prox cards, which again demonstrates maybe where some of the industry is. If we're talking about moving from Prox cards to uh, from Magstripe to Prox Cards. Um, I would encourage you to do that. It's a good organisation. It was established extremely well by somebody. I can't remember who that was. <laughs> he uh, was old. Sorry? He was old. He was old, yeah, 100 years ago. <laughs> um, because there's a good forum there. There's good interaction between people. You will, you will have the ability and, and opportunity to, to discuss things. It's supported by Tyco, who have been very supportive of that from the beginning. Uh, and I would encourage you to, to participate if you're not, and spread the word to everybody. I think really that's about all I've really got to say. We have gone from the old to the new. We've gone from the starter, and the main course will be coming up very soon. And the main course is the 9,000. On top of that, you can add your dessert, and that's your ROI and your AB. And I wish you all the best in doing that.